Why do architects wear bow ties? They don't. These days, architects distinguish themselves by wearing black. Black shirts, black trousers. Uh, we're talking about male architects, uh, by the way. Young architects are told, when you go to a job interview, wear black with just a little bit of grey to show you have a sense of colour. One architect who didn't follow this advice was, was James Sterling, who was commemorated by the um, Sterling Prize and who favoured the semi-casual necktie with top button undone look. People ask, did none of his potential clients ever look under the table at the first interview with him and notice the ghastly purple socks that he habitually wore and ask themselves, does this man really have a sense of colour? The consequence of their failure to pose that question is that today we view Sterling's later work with its garish purples and greens now patchily fading and ask ourselves, did that man really have no sense of colour? If you looked under the table when you were interviewing the architect Rem Koolhaas, you'd see a bulge in his sock. That's because Rem Koolhaas keeps his mobile phone in his sock so as not to spoil the hang of his Prada suit. When I say his Prada suit, I don't mean he has only one Prada suit, he has loads of them. I mean the, the Prada suit he happens to be wearing at this particular interview. Why do architects wear bow ties? I told you they don't. Rem Koolhaas doesn't wear a bow tie because he's a modernist and this generation of modernist architects doesn't wear bow ties. If an architect wears a bow tie these days, he's letting us know that not only is he an architect, but he's an architect who designs in a traditional style. It used to be that many architects wore bow ties, uh, even modernists. Why? It was said that they wore them so that their ties didn't get in their way when they were working at their drawing boards. But even when they no longer worked at a drawing board, because they were the boss and they spent the time schmoozing potential clients um, and the, their, their assistants did the drawings, um, they still wore bow ties. Just like hospital consultants used to wear bow ties. Perhaps the idea was that this would stop the consultants' ties uh, getting soaked with the blood from their uh, patients. Perhaps the architects wore bow ties so that their ties would not get soaked with the blood of their slave-driven architectural assistants. So why do architects wear black? They don't. A couple of years ago, the Architects Journal photographed the office of a leading provincial English architect. I was interested to note that in the photograph, every male member of staff was wearing black. The photographer had noticed this too, but the caption explained that the male architects in that office didn't usually wear black to work. They'd all individually made the decision that morning to put on black clothes because they knew that the photographer from the architect's journal was coming. They didn't wear black because they preferred it, but because they thought they should. So let's put the question another way. Why do architects think they should wear black? Is it to distinguish them uh, from other types of professional or to look the same as each other? If the answer is that they want to distinguish themselves from other professionals, you'd think that there would be some individual architects who would want to distinguish themselves from their own profession. And so there are. George Ferguson, the Bristol-based former president of the RIBA, always wears red trousers. This would make him very easy to spot if he was floating head down in the Bristol Channel. Richard Rogers' former partner, Mike Davies, a project architect of the Millennium Dome, now renamed the O2 Arena, dresses entirely in red. This would make him very unlikely to be rescued if, on a site visit to a food factory, he fell into a vast vat of tomato soup. But let's face it, that is very unlikely. These days, architects follow the most rigorous health and safety procedures. If the risk of soup-related accidents among British designers has been worrying you, I'm pleased to have been able to put your mind at rest. <laughs>